us examine evidences for evolution from embryology. Embryology is the study of development. The pattern of development varies in different groups of organisms whether they are plants or animals, but in related groups of organisms the pattern of development remains the same. Therefore, embryology also provides evidences in favor of evolution. One important evidence for evolution comes from a theory proposed by a biologist by name Ernst Haeckel in the year 1866. The theory can be stated in the form of a sentence like this. Ontogeny recapitulates phylogeny. Ontogeny recapitulates phylogeny. That is why this theory is also known as recapitulation theory. What is ontogeny? Ontogeny is the history of development, the study of developmental stages. The study of developmental stages. What is phylogeny? Phylogeny is the evolutionary history of an organism. Haeckel made the statement that ontogeny recapitulates phylogeny when he made this statement, he meant that the stages in development the stages in development of an organism, this is particularly true with respect to animals the stages in development of an organism pass through the stages of its evolution. In other words, every stage in the development of an organism represents a stage in its evolution. For example, if you take the development of a vertebrate animal, it begins its development in the form of a single cell called zygote, which is the fusion product of sperm and the ovum. This stage is supposed to represent the 
earliest stage in animals, the protozoans. So, zygote stage is supposed to represent the protozoan ancestry. Blastula stage, which is just a ball of cells, is supposed to represent a poriferan ancestry. The gastula stage the gastula stage is supposed to represent the sealant trait ancestry because initially gastrula is two layered then it becomes three layered once it becomes three layered then the triploblastic ancestry and so on the larva for example if you take amphibians the larva of amphibians called tadpole is supposed to represent the fish ancestry. The tadpole then metamorphoses into the adult, the adult being an amphibian. The immediate ancestor of amphibians is fish. So, the fish ancestry is supposed to be represented by the larva, the tadpole stage. So, this is what the recapitulation theory says ontogeny recapitulates phylogeny, developmental history of an organism recollects or passes through the stages of its evolutionary history, recollects its evolutionary history. So, this is an example to show that there is an evidence from embryology. Then another important evidence from embryology comes from the comparative study of from the comparative study of early embryonic stages. comparative study of early embryonic stages. For example, if you look at the embryo in the early stages of development, early organogenesis the embryo of a typical vertebrate would appear like this. So, you take the embryo of a fish, an embryo of an amphibian, a reptile, a bird and a mammal. In the early stages of development. In the early stages of development, that is when organogenesis is about to begin, the embryo of a fish, the embryo of an amphibian, the embryo of a reptile or a bird or a mammal, all of them would appear like this. All of them would appear like this, but as further development continues, a fish embryo develops only into a fish an amphibian embryo becomes only an amphibian and so on. So, this similarity 
in the early stages of development is suggestive of again common ancestry common ancestry the striking similarity that we see in the early embryonic stages is an example of is an indication of common ancestry that all these five groups of vertebrates have descended from a common ancestor so that is how from embryology a few evidences can be drawn in favor of evolution now apart from this other branches of biology like physiology also provide evidences in favor of evolution for example the study of hormones the study of certain biochemical products also indicates a common ancestry in the same way taxonomy the science of classification also provides evidences because taxonomy is purely based on evolution purely based on evolution if you examine the classification of vertebrates for example fishes amphibians reptiles birds and mammals you will see the trend in evolution one example heart from a two chambered heart to a three chambered heart to a four chambered heart or take for example the pattern of development fishes and amphibians oviparous with external development reptiles and birds oviparous with internal fertilization and external development mammals viviparous with internal development so all these indicate that these groups of animals have a common ancestor